myth, the legend. Please put your hands together for Will Luera. Just kidding, everybody. I actually uh, I uh, suffer from a rare affliction here uh, called bilingualism. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm actually uh, uh, born here, but I am bilingual, uh, and so uh, so no, don't worry. I'm, I'm sure some of you are wondering, uh, you know, how the hell did this guy get here? Uh, why wasn't the wall built sooner? How do you call the White House? Or is it Homeland Security? Is your TSA? No, it's all right. I, uh, so I'm very, uh, you know, there's, I, I do think that we are approaching this whole, uh, this whole wall thing a little, uh, I don't think we're doing it the right way. I mean, I, I really don't think that, that the, uh, the president is getting the right information. Uh, you see, uh, in Mexico, when I go visit my family in Mexico, uh, so I am, uh, you know, I, I do identify as a 5'8 white male. Just to be honest, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am a five foot four Mexican, uh, Mexican American. Uh, uh, but when I go to Mexico, uh, I actually like average height. Like I'm average height, and maybe even a little taller than other folks. Okay. Uh, and uh, I have heard somebody say a short joke already, so uh, I'm glad you're still in middle school. Congratulations. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, so in Mexico, I'm still a little. Uh, and I'm so pretty tall, and uh, we're trying to build a 30-foot wall, right? <laughs> we're trying to build a 30-foot wall where guys my size, you know, are, are somehow getting over it, right? They're getting over it, they're getting under it, they're getting, they're walking right through it. Like, I don't know, like, we're just getting around this thing, right? And um, I just think that the president is getting all the wrong information. Like, uh, the way I imagine it, like, I can see Mike Pompeo, right? And I'm only using that name because I don't know who the hell else works still at that place, right? Like there's literally, I mean there's so few people, I don't like how mail still works there, right? Uh, and uh, you know, a few other people, and the, the guy who delivers all the fast food and stuff like that, but we have Mike Pompeo. And so, I mean, I, just, I, I, want, I want Mike Pompeo to just walk in and just be like, you know, um, Mr. President, and that's my, my, my uh, Mike Pompeo impression, by the way. I'm horrible at impressions, so get ready. No. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. President, uh, we have a problem at the border. We have a bunch of uh, five foot four people that are somehow getting over, under, through our wall. Uh, we just can't control them. We don't know what's going on. Well, Mike, that's my uh, Trump impression, by the way. I think there's only one way we could solve this. Someone put Charles Xavier on the line. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, uh, Charles Xavier is a uh, fictional character from the X-Men universe. Uh, he's actually not a real person. He's a, he's a uh, telekinetic uh, mutant who uh, operates on a wheelchair. I don't care. I don't, give me any Charles Xavier, anyone. Just open up the US direct. Just give me any Charles Xavier on the line. That's how we're going to handle this. Um, Mr. President, I. Uh, can't find any Charles. I found a Carlos Javier in Plano, Texas. Goddamn Mexicans! Right? Um, anyway, what I'm saying is that I think that uh, a lot of people my size are are uh, are doing a pretty uh, a pretty crazy job getting over over this wall. Now, I do uh, want to say that I am very proud of all of you in this room right now. I'm very proud of every single individual in this room because we are the 18th best city to live in in the United States. Woo! Yeah, I know that if you guys read the article, right, it lists like the, the restaurants, uh, the beaches, uh, right, all the uh, the art, the culture, uh, right? I mean, okay, I get it, McCready's is cultural, uh, right? But you know what, we're the ones who make that happen. We're the ones who make that happen. I want you to all give each other high fives. Give each other high fives. You guys are the ones who made us the 18th best city. What do you do, man? What do you do for a living? I'm semi-retired. Okay, good. She's exactly why we're the 18th best city. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. How about you back there? What do you do for a living? Also retired. Semi-retired? Semi-retired. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. We are all part of the fabric that makes this city amazing and makes it what the 18th best city 
to live in. Uh, now, I did not grow up here. I actually grew up in Chicago. Uh, did anybody hear about the black hole picture that, that they, uh, yes. right? Okay. Um, I was a physics major, okay. Oh, shit, a Mexican with a physics degree. Yes, that was me. I was a physics major. Thank you. And I was really psyched about this. A freaking black hole was seen. Uh, but you know what's really tough is when you are a physics nerd growing up in the ghetto of the south side of Chicago. Because uh, there's nothing like gangs trying to recruit you. And your only response is like, hey, man, I'm sorry. I got, uh, I got physics homework. Um, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, man? Oh, yeah, you, you think you can get out of this because you got physics homework? Uh, so what if, what, 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 what if you join us? What can you help us do? Hey, listen. You know, maybe I could figure out the friction, you know, as you make a tight turn on a getaway. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Or maybe uh, maybe I could help you, you know, uh, on how to figure out how to combine two hydrogen atoms with an oxygen atom. All right, hey, wait a minute, no, that's chemistry, bro. That's chemistry, that's not <laughs> physics, that's not physics. All right, all right, all right. Well, maybe I could, you know, figure out the, uh, the half-life of, uh, of cesium or radium for you, you know, just in case the gang worship gets to that level. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, we'll let you live. We'll let you live. All right, all right, physics nerd. You're all right. And honestly, that's how I got through my uh, dark days in the, th in the uh, south side of Chicago. You guys have been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Curtis.